And keep in mind the beauty of this conference is it's not industry specific. Where else can you go, engage, interact, and be involved with people that are in dealing with a variety of different industries? But we all have one relevant and central theme that we're focused with, and that's the customer. We have about 640 people at this conference. We've grown 30% over last year. We have over 250 multi-unit franchisees in this room, a very powerful group. We want to provide stuff that's relevant, things that will make your business move forward. The franchisees here today represent over 250 franchisees, represent over 250 brands. They employ over 95,000 people alone. And these 250 franchisees also generate over $3 billion in system-wide revenue annually. Pretty significant. My challenge for you in this room is to walk away with better questions than you came with. Because in the desire to so solve the big questions in your business and, and in your life, you will find the answers. And if your questions aren't big enough, you'll get a little answers. The other thing about embracing change is this. Change with the times, or the times will change you. We think about the future as some hazy, weird, uh, obscure, mystical place. But in fact, the future arrives one hour at a time. What are you doing tomorrow? What's your plan for the day after that? And all of you, doesn't matter which part of the industry you're in, if you're in a, a franchisee or a franchisor, we have things that happen to us that we cannot control. So that depth of relationship is really important to us. And one of the brand attributes that we espouse is called the vital connection. So how do you engage with that customer to learn more about their business, to earn their trust, and to really become viewed as an extension of their business? I'm telling you, the, the difference of people that know it and the people that do it are two different things, I'm telling you. And you have a great operator, you know, there's a lot of things you can accomplish with that. You know, the next thing is you have to have some good locations. You got to pick out good locations in the emerging market or you got to acquire some good locations. I didn't say great locations, I said good locations because I've seen a lot of great operators make good locations great locations. So a, a step we put in recently uh, I'd never done before is on every exit whether you voluntarily leave us uh, or you, you leave us uh, due to, to performance issues. Uh, we do an exit interview. We also give you a, a letter that says you have voluntarily resigned. We put it in your payroll check and we put it in your file. Because we really knew we could provide an environment and a forum for multi-unit franchisees from every different industry to engage and learn from one another. And the openness and the honesty with this group just blows my mind. Real stories, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it's all about moving forward. So again, welcome and thank you for being here.